YouTube, Kurt Curtis. It is actually Saturday morning. I typically don't ship on Saturdays anymore. However, I am going to ship out eBay room items today. I have four other items that sold, but they're at the storage unit. I'll get to those on Monday. Um, I had a customer buy this uh, Ready to Rumble uh, Rusty Wallace vintage sweatshirt, and they were basically saying they needed it by Thursday. Um, I told them with the USPS during this time of year, I can't guarantee a delivery date and all that. And I don't know, they were like understanding, they were polite with me. And even though basically I couldn't guarantee them what they wanted, they were, I don't know, they just weren't being a dick. So I'm going to go ahead and ship this out today on Saturday for them. So hopefully it'll get there on time for them. They actually don't know I'm shipping it out today yet. Obviously they'll figure out once the tracking number uh, pops up today. So hopefully this helps them out. But yeah, I sold this, uh, Sweatshirt for $25. I got this at like a warehouse sale, which at this point I'm probably like hundreds and hundreds of dollars in the profit. So this will just add to it. Pretty cool sweatshirt, 25 bucks, can't complain. Because I'm shipping that out anyway, go ahead and ship out these other eBay room items. Sold this lot of two Bulbasaur McDonald's cards. These are non-hollow. This lot sold for $1.99. There is two cards in there. And then I also sold this Hot Wheels car, ended up selling for $9.99. It is Sunday morning and I'm actually going to my local thrift store today. Um, this is kind of stupid. I really don't need any more inventory. I honestly don't know why I'm going, but um, usually I'm running errands on Sunday and the thrift store is right there with the other places I usually go to. So I just can't help myself. I'm going to stop by today, see if I can find anything. All right, just got back from the thrift store and we have a sweeper. This DVD right here, the Flip Wilson Show, best of, this is sealed. Um, this is a straight up sweep. So I paid a dollar for this. Um, there's two active listings in this in new condition for around 200 bucks um the solds i didn't see any brand new sealed solds there were some new other solds um the most recent sold for a pre-owned copy of this was 75 dollars. so this i'm not really sure what i can get for this i mean i don't think people are going to pay 200 bucks for this but this might be like a hundred dollar sale right here i'm not really sure uh we will see but to pay a dollar for this for that i mean come on now but yeah take a look at this even if you see this pre-owned definitely pick it up this is the second like hundred dollar dvd i pulled from this thrift store at this point um crazy find so bolo right there for you guys um picked up a couple other dvds <clears throat> got this rocky one and two set this is sealed all the dvds were a dollar and i also got this winnie the pooh halloween dvd this is pre-owned um not too bad obviously this is the best find of the day picked up a bunch of uh, ps2 games these were $1.50 a piece. Um, they're all pre-owned. Most of them are going to need to be cleaned. Um, with, with video games in general, I'm not in any rush to list these things. Um, these will just end up in a pile for stuff that I need to get resurfaced and all that. But as time goes by, at least in my opinion, I just think the prices of games are just slowly going to creep up as the years go by and as less are available, more of these end up in collector's hands that people aren't selling them. So I'm never in a rush to list video games, <clears throat> which is why I picked these up. Uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Gran Turismo 4, a couple 007 games, and these were just unique. Um, got some ultimate cheat codes, or cheat codes, um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3 Game Shark for PS2. Um, I don't think these are that valuable, but they were just unique enough, and I think someone will pick them up. But yeah, for $1.50 a piece for all these games, definitely snag those up not too bad at all no home runs really in there but there's definitely money to be made picked up some books as always um this stack has kids books this little lot right here has four books in it it's sealed they, they still only charge me 30 cents for this even though there's four books uh picked up a couple party of five books we can make a little lot of these and some more raw doll books i picked up two last week and here's three more plus i had i have some more in this bin so um, i can make a nice little lot of those 30 cents a piece can't go wrong uh, these books were not not considered kids books so i think they were like 40 cents a piece um just a little bit more but picked up a couple dragon lance books these are this is probably a lot up situation i'm not sure they'll have to look into it more and also this book here pennies on the ground i think i only saw one listed on ebay so i just decided to pick it up uh, especially since it was that cheap so yeah this is why i stop in the thrift store but i don't need to for finds like this it is Monday morning, and I actually have 14 orders going out today, so I had a pretty good weekend. I shipped three items on Saturday, so technically I would have had 17 items going out this weekend. Can't complain at all. Let's go over what sold. First up, sold this Hot Wheels car. This is a pretty good one. 
ended up selling for $20.89. I sold this Marvel card, 93, Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six, that sold for $1.81. Had another pretty decent Hot Wheels sale, uh, the Hot Wheels Vintage Collection School Bus, that sold for $24.99. I also sold a DVD, Halo Legends. This is sealed, ended up selling for $8.59. The majority of the items that I have are at the storage unit. We'll get to that right now. All right, I am at the storage unit. I have 10 more items to pull. First up, I sold one of these Hallmark ornaments, um, Plotting the Course. This one ended up selling for $10.99. I will take it. Um, let's see here. Next up, I sold a Laserdisc, Independence Day. This ended up selling for $9.99. I am in the profit for this Laserdisc haul. At this point, these things are selling pretty slow, though. But, I mean, over the course of time, once all those sell, it'll all be profit. So that's going out. Um, I sold a video game. Wii Sports Resort. This is pre-owned. Ended up selling for $29.99. Let's see here. I uh, sold another video game, um, Star Fox 64. I just sold a copy of this recently, I want to say like a week or two ago, and I had another copy in my death pile, so I listed it, and this one sold right away. $29.99, not too bad. Um, I sold a little, let's see here, one of these like Santa figurines. Um, it's the Sweden one. That one's Finland, England. Of course, it's the last one. Yeah, this one right here, little uh, figurine, gnome Santa thing. And this ended up selling for $12.99, I believe. Yep. Um, I sold one of the books I picked up last week from the thrift store. Um, it's that one right there. I technically got this for free because the cashier didn't charge me. This one right here, very nice book. Ended up selling for... Um, $29.99. Kind of running out of room here. <clears throat> Get my little cheat sheet. And I also sold, let's see, B2. Um, this audiobook. This is sealed. Audiobook on CD. I just got this uh, last week at the thrift store, too. Paid a dollar for it, sold for $19.99. Can't believe that this sold so quick. Items like this I'll pick up if they're cheap, but usually they're long tail items. You need a specific buyer for it. But yeah, this one sold right away, $19.99. And that's all the regular items. I did sell some cards. Got this uh, Ghost Rider card, ended up selling for $1.99. Got this Gambit card, Flare Ultra 95, that ended up selling for $3.99. Not too bad at all, just for a base card. I also sold this Lonzo Ball rookie card, ended up selling for $4.99. It is Tuesday morning. I'm only shipping eBay room items out today, and I have three orders going out. Let's go over what's sold. First up, I sold this lot of three Abercrombie and Fitch books. Um, I'm surprised these actually sold. I paid $0.50 cents a piece for these at a garage sale a while back. So I have $1.50 into the slot and ended up selling for $18.99. I sold one of these vintage collection Hot Wheels. This one ended up selling for $9.49. And I also sold a 64 game Pilot Wings. This ended up selling for $23.49. It is Wednesday morning. I only have four orders going out today. Unfortunately, one of those items is at the storage unit, so I gotta make that trip just for the one item. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is. Let's go over what's sold. First up, I sold a DVD, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. This is sealed. Had this listed for quite a while. Finally sold for $8.29. Next up, I sold a t-shirt. Had this thing listed probably almost three years. Would not pick something like this up again. Finally sold for $6.89. After fees and shipping, not making much here. Uh, just glad to get rid of this thing at this point. Uh, someone got a deal, though. Also sold a Hot Wheels car. This ended up selling for $9.99. I have one more item to pull. I sold another one of these Santa figurines. I'm looking for the England one. Here it is. And um, this ended up selling for $12.99. It is Friday morning. I have eight eBay orders going out today. Unfortunately, once again, just one of those orders is at the storage unit, so I have to make that trip. Kind of annoying. Let's go over what's sold. Uh, first up, I sold a few DC vs. Marvel cards. This one right here, uh, Captain Marvel, sold for um, 281 This one here, Scarecrow vs. Scarecrow, sold for $1.99. And next up, we have a sweeper. Um, this is a pair of vintage women's Janko jeans. 
and I believe I paid a dollar for these at a garage sale, and they sold for ninety nine ninety nine. Get the broom. So, um, I mean, I obviously remember Jake Go jeans from back when I was a kid. We used to wear these things. They're just really baggy jeans, and you were like the coolest if you had these back in the day. Um, yeah, so if you see these things out in the wild, grab them. Um, Jenko does have an active website now, so they are still making jeans, so not everything would technically be vintage, but I don't know if they stopped and then made a comeback or if they've been making them this whole time. Um, these are a pretty basic pair. There's not really any crazy designs on it, but a lot of the jeans have crazy designs on it, and those can probably fetch a lot more money than these even did. Um, but yeah, so if you see Jenko, pick it up or at least look into it because it's probably valuable. Um, I had someone offer me $70 for these maybe like a week or two ago, and I declined the offer. Normally, I would take an offer like that, especially since I only paid like a dollar for these. But I had, like, last time I checked, I had 23 watchers on this item. So I knew it was just a matter of time before someone was just going to buy them. And I held out and then ended up getting the 100 bucks. Um, really good sale there. Awesome. I've only found Janko, I think, just the one time, which is right here. But it's definitely something you could find in just like a random batch of clothing at like a garage sale or something like that. So be on the lookout for that. Awesome sale there. So we go from a really good clothing item sale to a really bad one. This is just another t-shirt. It says, It Never Ends Eddie. I actually don't even know what the shirt is from. Had it listed for probably a couple of years at this point. Finally sold for $7.59. Next up, I sold this uh, lip balm. This is brand new sealed. Sold for $18.99. My girlfriend occasionally gives me like cosmetic items that she's not going to use it, or she never ended up using. Obviously, you, you want to sell new ones, not pre-owned ones. But... um. Yeah, so this, this is just something she gave me that she was looking to use for me to sell. $18.99, not too bad. It sold pretty quickly, actually. Next up, sold a DVD, All About Steve. This is sealed. Ended up selling for um, $8.59. I also sold one of these Hot Wheels cars. Ended up selling for $9.49. All right, I'm at the storage unit. I only have one more item to pull. I sold this Perplexus Epic. Um, I picked this up recently at an estate sale. I paid $4 for it. It sold for $19.99. Not the best pickup here. Um, this should squeeze into first class shipping though, so there is still some money to be made. It is time for the numbers for the week. This week I had a total gross sales of $507.73 after fees and shipping and all that. My net was $316.96. So next week is Thanksgiving and Black Friday and all that. So it's kind of like the official start to the holiday season, at least in my opinion. So it'll be interesting to see how the store does. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. Stack dividends, sweep floors. Until next time. If you have more, let me know. Take them off, you'll let them go. I'm here to scoop up everything. Curtis and King, Dividend King. It's in the air that I breathe. Collecting dividends every week. Cash flow is how I roll. Sweeping is how it grows.